Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin has been absolutely banging it. As you can see here, just completely destroying a lot of liquidation orders. Uh, yeah, yesterday we did talk about potentially coming down and absorbing these guys. That did, in fact, happen. Uh, but after that, we actually uh, started a pretty decent bullish uptrend. So we're going to go through a few things here today. We will get into the chart. Any trades that I'm going to be looking for here. Obviously, we are still on a pretty decent win streak here, right? So we want to keep that going. We're looking for these perfect trades. Uh, and yeah, I think we're pretty close to one to say the least. But first, let's talk about some on-chain stuff here. Talk about the macro. Is Bitcoin still in a bull market? Is Bitcoin still bullish? Is it is it all over? Is it all over? Do we come down to 50k? Let's find out right here, right now. Okay, so thank you for the likes as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're long, short, or in between on the sidelines. I'm always happy to hear what you guys are doing. As an analyst, I like that kind of peer review, and I like that. Uh, like to hear what, what the sentiment is, right? But without further ado, let's jump into this. Uh, we can see the energy value coming down a hell of a lot here. This previously was uh, 80k, as you guys remember from previous videos. But now it is at 77.1. So what does this mean? This essentially means that, uh, yeah, if we get above 77.1, it's very, very good. It's very good for Bitcoin. Um, I mean, you can see it pretty much every single time here. We go parabolic 40% plus, right? In some cases, 4 or 5x. So uh, yeah, if we get above 77.1, looking fantastic. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about here is the on-chain. So, I mean, th this technically is the on-chain, but uh, this, this being the on-chain as well, we can see that, yes, we are seeing the electricity consumption increase slowly but surely, okay, um, compared to where we were, it's super, super low, but as of right now, you can see that increase trying to recover, which is great, it just means the miners are turning their machines on again, uh, and they're looking to acquire more Bitcoin, okay, that's typically bullish, the miners know more than everyone, right? Uh, so, with that said and done, let's talk about outflows and inflows. Let's just see if we got a positive inflow here. It's going to be close. Oh, 21 cents. 21 cents. Let's get it on on the inflows. That's that's crazy. That's <laughs> that's crazy. 21 cents. It's not it's not anything amazing, right? Basically no one did anything. No one withdrew. No one uh <laughs> no one deposited. No one bought, right? Um I, I completely messed that up. It's it's buying or selling, right? No one bought, no one sold, not withdrawing, because <laughs> it's not an exchange. Uh, but we can see here, we can see uh the charts here on the four hour are potentially playing out a beautiful little measure move up to around sixty seven thousand dollars so if we get 10k above that up to 77 which is quite far away uh then yeah i think we go parabolic but as of right now yes we are still against the ropes we have broken our main bitcoin bullish structure coming through here so not a great sign uh over the past few weeks but if we can get over this trend line it is a glimmer of hope for us here in the Bitcoin markets. And again, guys, I, I am in a position, I have sold some uh, on the way down here, but uh, I am chilling, okay? I, I sold some like around 68, something like that. So uh, yeah, as of right now, we are chilling. We are waiting uh, for another brilliant entry. <clears throat> and as of right now, we can see that, uh, yeah, if we were to close the day here, so if we close the day, essentially, just put this bluntly, right? If we close the day above 66K, then the bull market barrier turns blue again. And and uh, if we just look at previous data here of when that happens, obviously this is coming out of the bear market, so it's, it's not really relevant. But uh, we can see here, we can see here that, uh, no, this isn't it. <laughs> this is the one, this is the one, right? Yeah, we can see, uh, yes, this, this did not turn blue and uh, yeah, continued down. But if we go to the 20... 18 run or 2017 run, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, it would be similar to something like this, right? Where we get one or two days inside the bull market barrier, and then we just go absolutely monumentally parabolic towards the upside. Guys, I've been trading for a long time, okay? I've been trading for a long time, uh, and when we see potential resistances that are sloping down, breaking, as well as hitting major support like this, uh, it's a great potential sign for an entry, not just for Bitcoin, but all of the altcoins you know and love as well, right? So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I will talk about the altcoins a little bit in this video, uh, just in terms of entries, because I know some of you have the uh, volume weighted ATR band, you want to know when to get in. So we will check that out. Let's just let's just do this quickly. There we go. Beautiful stuff. So uh, yeah, 
as of right now, we did get two closes inside this, so it's not identical. It's actually probably more bearish that we've closed twice inside this. But uh, if we can get above it here, it's a great sign. It means that uh, we could potentially get bullish very, very quickly, okay? Uh, the other thing here, before we do carry on, I do just want to bring your attention to hash ribbons, okay? You can probably see these signals on my chart, right, uh, as we're going along. Uh, and with these, uh, with these signals, they are just probably the best indicate the best signals uh, and the best indicator uh, in Bitcoin generally in terms of macro uptrends. As you can see here, 100% trade, can't go wrong there. Beautiful there. Obviously, this is a bear market, so we don't really pay too much attention to it. Uh, but yeah, bull market one, boom, 19K, all the way up to 50K. So uh, the fact that these hash ribbons are starting to recover here, right, if we do just bring these up, whoop, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, if these cross towards the upside, we will get a long signal, and that will just further clarify to us that this is getting more and more bullish, okay? Uh, as of right now, it is currently uh, underneath, right? As you can see, the raw hash rate. This is updated like daily or every 12 hours or something. So what we can say here is, uh, yeah, this maybe might finish or reprint up here, you never know. But as of right now, yeah, the hash rate uh, looking like it wants to recover, but uh, it can get rejected here quite easily. Sorry, I just ate a, a cow's own, so I'm trying to fight off a burp. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just just honest here on the channel. But uh, yeah, if we are just going down to the shorter time frame here, so we do get to six minutes into the video. Thank you for liking the video as well, guys. If we can hit 10 likes, I would massively appreciate it. Okay, trying to grow the channel out here. But uh, yeah, this is potentially the, the opportunity to buy very, very soon. Uh, I would say if we start closing hourly candles above this 60 minute okay it's a great sign uh I what i want to see more than anything here though uh, is a high made initially right a high made initially a retest of that 60 minute right and then a break of that high we break that high roughly around 68 K, okay, 68.7, then uh, yeah, we probably just ride this up and continue our bull run from there. But <clears throat> but uh, we can see here, obviously, that we do have this trend line uh, around 70,800. So uh, this is the real barrier, okay? This is the real barrier here, our downward sloping resistance from our highs, uh, just as we talked about uh, in the previous runs, right? Uh, this is really the area to get above. Uh, if we can get above it, it'll be fantastic. So 70K, Definitely keep your eyes on that. Uh, and if we do come up here and we get rejected, very, very bad news. Okay, it's a very bad sign if Bitcoin does that. <clears throat> but ideally, we make... Um because this run is kind of unique, right? But ideally, we can make a high, um, and then we come down. Then we actually have a, a, a bit a bit more reliable trend line to get above, right? I think uh, I think this one right now is, is fairly steep, okay? So we should be expecting some spillover, but not a complete recovery. Uh, so if we do get kind of halfway here, and then we get uh, a nice, neater trend line here, one that, that's more parallel and, and more uh, similar to the ones we talked about in the previous runs, then we can start eyeing up that for the for the potential entry here but as of right now my predictions are very neutral i think uh, i think we are still below this spillover area we do keep getting rejected around this zone so what i want to see more than anything is a daily close above 65.7 that's that's the goal here okay in terms of short-term trades here guys you could probably find one off this 15 minute if we break this high okay so if we break uh, 66.5 and we're closing multiple 15 hour candles above there okay after making this high right then it's a great sign but uh just looking at these 15 minute candles it does not look good look at this disgusting look how many red disgusting indecisive candles that is so uh yeah just generally the market conditions right now if you are a beginner trader or if you've only been trading like a year or even two years uh this this is a really disgusting price action this is not typical this is not fluid this is very um this is very binary i would say right this is definitely market maker manipulation coming through just liquidating everyone that they can uh, and if we do bring up that liquidation heat map uh, one more time we can see if we refresh this bad boy uh, where uh, they might be headed next so we can see yeah uh, 43 mil here people went long these are the liquidation levels so uh yeah maybe they're coming down to kind of grab that that. We've talked a lot about the upside here today. Uh, what I'm going to do next is talk about the downside and how we can profit from that. All right. So uh, looking at this right now, there may be a beautiful trade here uh, if we do lose this trend line again. So from about 65.4, we'll call it. Okay. If we do end up coming down here,
here, uh, then there might be a beautiful short that we can find back down to this 15 minute volume weighted today TR band. That's pretty much uh, a decent trade, a reliable trade if this is a confirmed rejection. It does look like it's breaking structure here on the 15 minutes. So uh, let's just be careful with this one. But yeah, there could be a beautiful little trade here back inside this pattern, but we have to be careful. And uh, ideally, we want to get below this trend line here on the hourly, right? So uh, we come down, we lose this bad boy, right? Uh, we mess around this for, an, for a little t small amount of time here. And uh, yeah, I'm also in a food coma from that cow zone I've just eaten. <laughs> My brain is definitely slowing down. Uh, but yeah, if, if we break the trend line, we lose about 65k. Uh, that would probably be a great time to short. Uh, and uh, yeah, shorting for probably like 1% here. Yeah, something like that. 1% down. Uh, and then from that point, we chill in, okay? We don't wanna be in shorts too long here. Again, we are still technically in a bull market. We don't want to be uh, too bearish here, of course. But uh, yeah, if there's an opportunity for a long or a short, it makes sense to try and take it if the win percentage is high enough, right? And I've been doing this a while, and typically, yeah, you will see that. If this is a straight rejection, then uh, it will be quite an aggressive dump down. And uh, I, can, I can see it hitting the 15-minute lower volume weighted ATR band quite easily, okay? As we've hit all the way down, right? Literally all the way down, we've hit this bad boy. So, uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would say that's plausible. Uh, besides that, yeah, we do have the rest of this measure move to potentially go through. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you could, you could eye up. If you're on something like Fairdesk, uh, and link in the description for that, uh, using my link, you actually get VIP one or two, I believe, which gives you a massive percentage off your fees. So that helps you take smaller percentage trades. Uh, in, in this example, it's fantastic, right? Because uh, yeah, this measure move is up to here, 67, uh, and it's not a 1% trade. Ideally, we want to go for 1% if we're on leverage, right? But uh, we could probably get away with 0.6% uh, here uh, and make money because of that. those um, discounts and fees from using Fairdesk, right? So uh, feel free to get involved with that. It's, it's completely free to sign up, right? Obviously, you've got to trade your own money, but um, yeah, it's, it's right there. And also, we're doing copy trading on there as well. If you want to copy all my trades <clears throat> like these, then uh, feel free to check that out as Bitcoin just falls into the abyss, into the abyss here. But we'll see if this, this can recover. Obviously, we are just testing this uh, 60 minutes 7 SMA. We've got the price action channel here around this trend line. So if we do head down here uh, and we can kind of curl back up, then we can still eye up this trade towards the upside quite easily. Okay, uh, so yeah. That's pretty much the plan here for the short term. If we are looking for scalps, we're looking for a scalp from about 66.5 if we break this high, okay? Uh, we're looking to bang that up um, to, for 0.6%. And again, as I said at the start of the video, you could probably hold this up to a point, um, 2.2, right? Uh, if it's if it's got momentum, if it's above this seven SMA on the uh, on the one hour, right? Uh, but if it's below it, probably not. It, it pr it's probably over. So uh, my advice here is not financial advice, of course, but uh, yeah, if you are paper trading, if you are paper trading, my advice here would be to uh, take a lot of profit around uh, 0.7%, right? And then leave a little bit in, probably 30, 40% in and aim for that other 2%. Uh, in terms of the rest, right? Um, yeah, I'd probably have my stop loss just below this 7 SMA, wherever it comes up, or even better, below the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. That's the upside. Downside, we just talked about, right, from 65K down to about 64.3. 1% trade there, can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, in a, in a pretty brutal crashing scenario, guys, if we do head down and test the lower 60s, uh, my, my trading plan still stands here, uh, which I talked about previously. Let's see if I've got it on another chart here. Uh, okay, we'll just have to use this chart for now. But uh, yeah, if we are looking at this, and we get rid of all this junk, okay? We can see this four hour volume weighted ATR band. If we do get below this, right, for any amount of time, okay, we wait for, for us to reclaim all three of these volume weighted ATR bands. Let me just get rid of this again, there we go. We wait to reclaim all three of these, so the 15 minute, the 60 minute, and the four hour, and then typically we will get a massive pump upwards after reclaiming them. But that's in a major dumping scenario, right? If we if we get below these bad boys, then reclaim them, there's a beautiful trade. But we've talked about this in the past few videos, so uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on that uh, for that. But uh, yeah, besides that, I want to talk about some altcoins here. Um, this is not the altcoin I wanted to talk about. One of them is Gala here. Let's just take a look. Yeah, so Gala right here, right now. It's currently, it's currently, if this is going to load, hello, mate. Here we go. Yeah, we're looking for this four hour volume weighted ATR band. All right. Uh, if we can reclaim this, it's great. I actually haven't checked if we have reclaimed it. We might have already. Let's just have a look. It doesn't look like it just based on the chart. If this is going to load. Come on, mate. Come on. 
There we go, yeah, so it looks like we're pretty close to reclaiming it, uh, and yeah, we did reclaim it previously, but um, yeah, I mean, we had this trend line coming down, of course, we have this trend line coming up, a very, very difficult place to be going, hey, let's find a long with just below a major resistance, right? Uh, so uh, what we are looking for here, though, is to reclaim this down here, because there's a bit of an air pocket that we can probably take advantage of coming through, right, uh, in this area, so uh, that's probably where I'm going to be buying uh, Gala a little bit more for a nice 14% trade, and if it looks good and it keeps recovering, right, we can just have a trailing stop loss on this, right? But if it looks good and it keeps recovering, then uh, you could probably ride this up all the way, all the way. If, if the whole market starts to recover, you could probably make a 50% trade on this thing. Uh, but just, just take that with a grain of salt because, uh, yeah, if Bitcoin wants to pull us all down, then, uh, yeah, this getting over this isn't going to be effective too much, right? We want to see Bitcoin bullish as well, so the altcoins can stay bullish, right? Uh, but that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. So I hope you've had a good one. I hope you're having a good week so far. Okay, I do this for you, so any likes are massively appreciated. If you do want to join our communities out here, okay, then feel free at Telegram or Discord that we just opened up. It's got lots of resources on there. Uh, and again, Patreon. I'm going to start doing one free signal in my Patreon to the free members, all right? Right? So you guys aren't left out. I've seen some of you guys follow on there. Uh, and obviously there's a paywall for you to get to, the, to all of the signals. Some of the, Sometimes we're doing like 50, 60 signals a month. But I want to do one free signal uh, per day or per couple days for you guys so you can continue to make money, right? Uh, and, uh, and keep going with that one, right? I don't really have to do that, but I want to do that uh, for you guys that, that do support the channel, right? Uh, and again, this is for free users, for free users, right? So good stuff there. I will see you very, very soon. Oh, a bit of a long video today. Interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it. So have a fantastic day. Cheers. Like the video. Leave me a comment. All of that good stuff. We're going to end it now. It's rambling, rambling.